Well, the Stellar Blade demo has come out, and I am really wishing I had a PlayStation 5 at this point so I could play this game, because it looks amazing for the, the sense of what it is. It's a Dark Souls style game, and then you have the Stellar Blade and whatever the story that goes with it. But today we're going to actually look at an article from IGN out of France. Yes, I'm having to translate it. Because there is some hilarious takes that they think that are part of this game. Sometimes encounter hostile survivors. Or... Something worse. Well, before we get fully get into the video, like, share, subscribe, and do all the fun things that YouTube likes. Subscribe to the channel today so I can continue covering these topics. Now, Grums, I'm going to start here because I just saw this. I'm having an hilarious uh, meme at this point. Uh, Grums, he, he memed on Starfield how Starfield uh, start screen was very, very lackadaisy. There was nothing there. Hell, I think I even, sh I, I think at one point I tweeted at him with the Final Fantasy VII starting uh, thing for the original for the PS1, how it was a very empty screen. There wasn't much to see there. Now we're back to Stellar Blade and start screen status perfection and you know what it really is at this point but this isn't why we're here we're here to talk about an ign article which is just you just gotta sit there and look at this this is translated from french a preview stellar blade shock and charm stellar blades demo is an unexpected slap in the slap what I'm guessing that's some sort of translation in error. <laughs> Humanity has been driven out by Earths by ugly aliens. Ugly aliens. They, they're, they're pretty gross looking. And this time it's taking control of themselves to regain what's left of our good planet. It for the purpose that Eve and her squad are sent to the scene, beaming ugly alien digests, but with an extraordinary class, a fearsome sword, and a tight dress? Anyway, it's the promise of Stellar Blade, the next big one exclusive for the PlayStation 5 that has been able to test, report on the first major time of hunting in the Nataba. So it's Eve's shoes that we are going to reclaim the Earth. Our heroine is going to have the hard task of cleaning all of this up. Given the mass landing predicted in the Earth survivors went wrong, it almost remains only her and her unlikely plastic to smash the invader. Unfortunately, it seems quite capable of doing so, and we immediately find ourselves clamping the monsters happily on the SF version of the landing beach. The design of this game, especially its characters, highlights its obvious bias. The bias. Uh-huh. We are going to smather, but if we can do it by pleasing these gentlemen, it's bonus. Yes, yes. By putting on someone that actually with women's stature and making an actual female character that actually looks like a female character in a video game. I mean, what's wrong with that? And the result is not really a success. It's not new. I, and other games have chosen to highlight the strengths of their female characters, but where a Bayonetta stands by an uh, iconic character design or the uh, 2B of Nier Automatica inspires an entire generation of cosplayers. Stellar Blade's Eve is just bland. A doll sexualized by someone who has never seen a woman. You guys want to read this? I'll, I'll leave it. I'll, I'll try and leave the... Uh, archive version of this, but yes, you have to translate it. <laughs> a tightly combination highlighting absurd proportions, perf perfect heels go to war, a ponytail so long that they're forced to put an opinion to shorten it, an option to shorten it in the, ton the parameters. Nothing is going well. Fortunately, the animation is there and Eve moves with the grace and style that catches up with the painting of Shi Zhen Un, 
the poor Korean model, um, Korean model model for the character is lost under a strata of clumsy plastic changes that make her unrecognizable body to face. They use an actual model to, to promote, to make this game. They use an actual woman to base this game off of. And over here in France, they apparently they're, they're calling it plastic. They're calling it a doll sexualized by someone who's never seen a woman. They videotaped a woman doing this. Are you daft? Like, what is wrong with you? Eve executes with formidable precision all these squeals and the parodies that you order from her for immediate satisfactory battles. This game is being described as a, a hot, sexy Dark Souls. Is pretty much what this is. Um, you know what? I have no problem with this game whatsoever. It, it it's showing off the female body. Um, some of the models are very revealing and honestly are more adult style content, but that comes with the territory. It is a very adult style game in that sense. You're already fighting demons. You're already doing all these things that are kind of an adult thing to do. So let's just take it the next step. Let's no long, let's exit the role playing stage of things and take it to the next step and actually make an adult game. And that's what this is, is a, an adult game. And they knew their target in that. Unlike other games that we've seen out there, like Baldur's Gate 3, that targeted was to teens. That wasn't a target to an adult genre. D&D &D is 13 and up. Stellar Blade, this, this, Honestly, is an adult game made for adults with an adult attitude. So the adults are entering the room now and going to enjoy their adult game. If you don't like it, well, IGN France, you can suck it. Well, with Stellar Blade, it comes down to you have a game development company that's making the game they want to make, targeting the audience they want to target. So what's the problem? The, the target audience is reveling in it. No, the problem is the people that don't believe that target audience should exist. And that's the problem here. The target is everyone out there. Yes, mostly adults at this point, but adult gaming has been a very mainstay of the gaming industry for a very long time. This is one game that I know a lot of people are already losing their minds to it. They're, they're losing and forgetting about the real world they get to play a game and actually have fun and enjoy it yes there's skin tight outfits in the game but you don't have to wear them you can wear the normal ones it's for those that want to appreciate the expression of true femininity returning to gaming and why don't we celebrate it because that's what this is this game is going to be hailed for a long time and you know, the, the, the critics aren't liking it, but the gamers are loving it. And that's what matters. Who cares about the critics? Who cares about what I say even here? Just enjoy the games you want to enjoy. Keep gaming fun and have a great day. Anyway, I'm your prod Canadian Phoenix in the shadow. I'm signing off here. You guys go enjoy stellar blade. I really wish I had a PS5 to do so, but I can't. Oh well. Next time, maybe once the PS6 comes out, maybe I'll try and save up some money for it. For the next great installment of something absolutely once in a generation. It's so sad you have to name it as once in a generation now. Because this was something that was normal back in the days of true gaming. Mm -hmm.